instead of spending that 500 pound on that car lease, why don't they spend 100 pound or have no car lease and just drive an okay idiot car and then spend 400 pound on some sort of private tuition? I didn't say private school, private tuition so that their child can increase their maths and their English and that. They'll wear that watch that they really want. I think I mentioned this one time in one of my videos, but I was saying this to my girl the other day. Yeah? There's certain parents out here, yeah? They could be saving up for two, three years for uh, a nice car. Let's say they only believe in um, buying cars outright in cash for whatever reason. Yeah, they don't believe in finance. They don't believe in lease. They believe in buying a car outright in cash. There could be certain parents right now, yeah, Oh, my phone's overheating, you know. Shit, how the fuck? Oh, well, that's weird. My phone's overheating. Anyway, so, um, yeah, there could be a, a, a mum or dad that's saving up three years for, the, for a 30 grand car and that. Ooh. Let's say, yeah, the parent gets a phone call one day and apparently some private school and the parents slightly believes in education and slightly believes in private school because there's some parents they're like oh i don't want to send my child to private school yeah they could get a phone call from one of the best private schools in the country maybe not eton but there have been a lot of mps that have come out of this private school and they could get a phone call and say oh to the parent oh we're gonna um do a discount on tuition fees for the whole of the, the, the child's um, education throughout, let's say, year seven to year 11, yeah? All you need to do is pay the 30 grand up front and that will cover the cost of the entire um, year, year seven, year 11, year seven to year 11, the entire secondary school, school time. There's contracts that we're gonna sign so that obviously, you know, if something happened and your child wasn't able to um, continue studying there, you get your money back, whatever. It's all secure in that. You know, if they was given that option to pay 30 grand for their child's education, knowing that they're going to go to a school where a lot of the kids end up being MPs in that, you know what a parent will say? Yeah, what I'll do is I'll give it some thought and I'll get back to you. And what they will do is they'll rationalise in their head why it might be a bad idea to send their kid to private school. Ah, it's probably not real. It's probably a scam. Oh, well, I know a few people that have been to private school and they're all on drugs. Or I know some guy that hung himself because the exams are too difficult. They don't care. His parents don't give a shit about setting up their children. Because I know if that was me and someone phoned me up and said, oh, you know, if you pay 30 grand, that will cover the tuition for private school for year seven to year 11, the whole of the secondary school time. And I'll pay the fucking 30 grand if I have the money up front. As long as I know they're not going to run off of my money and rip me off and there's certain things that I can put, there's a contract and that, that they have to uphold or else I get my money back. And yeah, some parents don't give a shit about their kids. They, they pretend that they love their kids. They don't care about their kids. You only truly care about your kids when you're putting down some money, making some sacrifice and that. Everyone claims, oh, I love my kids. I love my kids. Oh, um, I don't have much money, but what I can offer is my kid love. Blood, love is not good enough to raise children. Eh? Love can only take you so far. A lot of these parents, they, they say, oh, yeah, I love my kids. And that, 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 that's all you can offer them, love. You can't offer them nothing. Nothing monetary. Nothing. Me, I can offer my children shit before they even fucking born. I've got three properties, blood. I've got two that are opposite each other. I can have my son living in one and my daughter living in the other one. Opposite. Not across the street or around the corner or on the same postcode. No, opposite each other. Man busts his door up and he can spit at his sister's front door. Like that, blood. Most parents, they don't set up their children because they want a joke team. They claim they love their children. Why are they not making sacrifice for their children? Why are they not working overtime and giving up their their free time to put money in their child's bank so that when their child um, gets to 18, they got 20 grand sitting there. They don't care about their kids like that. When you love people and you, and you love your children and that, you make sacrifice. Yeah, as, your, as a parent, you are obligated to. 
I don't need to do that once my children come because I've already done it in the past. 99.9% oh, I love my child. Bro, what sacrifice are you making for your child, bro? You don't care about them that much. You don't love them that much. It's easy to sit down and watch TV with your child and, and cuddle up and hug and that. That's, that's easy. The difficult thing is putting in the sacrifice and staying disciplined and dedicated for 15 years so that you can give your child the best possible start. That don't mean that your child needs to have fucking nannies and, you know what I'm trying to say, like um, some silver spoon service or come from a silver spoon society in there, but they're supposed to grow up and live life on easy mode. Not like me, where I couldn't get a new pair of trainers every single month. Because it just was not financially viable. Man, so a man's asking for an example of sacrifice and that. Just, it, it could be something so dumb. Like, let's say, yeah, there's parents out here right now, yeah, who spend £500 on leasing a car or financing a car every month. £500. But their kid is average, their kid is mediocre in school, their maths and English are not up to standard, yeah? Instead of spending that £500 on that car lease, why don't they spend £100 or have no car lease and just drive an okay idiot car and then spend £400 on some sort of private tuition? I didn't say private school, private tuition so that their child can increase their maths and their English and that. That's an example of sacrifice. There's parents right now driving around in a 600 grand, sorry, 600 pounds, 700 pound car lease every month and their kids are fucking average in their studies and that. No, get rid of the car or get a cheaper car and then invest that money into your child. That's an example of sacrifice. So many parents right now driving around in expensive cars but their kids are doing average, below average in school. And they claim they care and they love their, their, their child. They don't. They, they, they love them, but they don't love them that much. And a parent will see this video and the new car and the car lease will be coming up for renewal next month. And they won't take my advice on board, you know. They'll just continue to lease the same sort of caliber car. Okay. Um, they, they're no longer driving the 6 Series BMW, but they're going to go and get the E-Class. Get the fucking Ford and, and, and spend £200 extra on your child's private tuition every month. They don't care that much. They claim they do, they don't. They say they love their, ch their children, but their actions say otherwise. They think, they think loving their children and that it, it is all about kisses and hugs. And going to McDonald's and that. Nah, man. The realest love is making that sacrifice. And no one can tell me any different.